Hello and welcome to the tutorial for adding a Smart Automations SIP trunk or carrier to your VichyDAO platform. Now it's uh, really easy to add uh, new carriers and make changes between them. So uh, all you're going to do is you're going to log into your VichyDAO uh, application as an admin with permission level nine. You're going to go to carry admin. You're going to go to carriers. You're going to click here, add new carrier, and you'll get this new carrier screen. So as long as you've already contacted Smart Automation Systems and you've already set up with an account, then you'll have permission to start sending traffic to them. So first, we're just going to give this carrier ID a name. We'll call this the Smart Automation Systems uh, SIP trunk VoIP provider for Vichy Dial. You're going to leave this as all admin user groups. Registration seeing, string is not going to be required. You're not going to need a template. Uh, for account entry here and dial plan entry, I recommend just copying the settings we provided below. It'll be the easiest way to do it. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste those here so you can see. Uh, you'll see these are all pretty standard settings. The only thing that might change in the future would be the IP address, uh, depending on the server you've been attached to when you uh, sign up with them. So everything else is going to be pretty static. Uh, let me move over the dial plan entry as well. Depending on how you set up your system, the only thing that might change here would be this. Sometimes they'll put a nine here. Um, this is going to be referenced in your campaign settings for which you select as your prefix and that will determine which trunk to use. Um, so it can be 5559, five, five, everyone has their preference. Protocol is going to be SIP, global string will not be required. Here you're going to need to put, if you have a single server install, you're going to enter the only server that you're currently using. But if you have a multi-server cluster, then you're going to have to save it first and then you'll see that the additional options will appear. So I want this to be working for all servers and I want to set it to active and then you click submit. And that's all there is to it.